Deb Cooper here with a message for single moms. I'm particularly addressing this to single mothers of boys, of sons. Now, last year or so, I, you know, really got on some guys' butts because they were complaining, oh, you know, young men aren't doing worth anything. They don't know anything. They're dumb. They're stupid. Okay, what I challenge them to do then is to go out into the community and make a difference. You know, don't sit here calling me whining about what young men are not. You do something about it. And then when you're, when you're doing something about it, then I might listen to you. But as long as you're sitting at home on the couch with the remote in your hand, I really don't care to hear what you have to say. Okay, so interesting enough, a lot of guys took me up on that. And they went out and they started doing things that would involve themselves with mentoring young men. I was very, I, I was shocked. But it was a pleasant surprise because there are so many young men in the black community that are intelligent. You know, they go to school. They do what they're supposed to do. Um, they just need the influence of a positive man in their life. Okay, so we, we tackled that. But here it is, you know, 12, 18 months later, and I'm getting a lot of messages from guys that the mothers are somehow screwing it up. So I'm like, what do you mean the mothers are screwing it up? How is this? How? What are you talking about? And you, ladies... You know, of course, this doesn't apply to all of you because there's some women out there that are so happy that their son has a positive male role model in his life that's teaching him something and sharing some time with him. You're not the ones I'm talking about. But if you know a woman who, who this description that I'm getting ready to talk about fits, please forward her the link to this video. What we are having are some single mothers who have a guy in their son's life who's trying to teach their son something. Okay, now... In some instances, it's plumbing, it may be carpentry, it may be auto mechanic, it may be electrician. What we have are women who are interfering with that. And th this is how you guys are doing it. You get some new jack leg fool in your life, somebody who hasn't done squat for you yet. He hasn't done squat for your child. He has no track record. Okay, you, you don't, he's just off top. Somehow you are letting that man tell you what to do with your son. Well, you know, you don't need that in around because, you know, I'm here now. I can do that. But is he teaching your son anything? Is he doing anything for your child? Or is he just somebody you lay up with and run around and club with? See, that's that's what I'm, I'm talking about. You know, you ladies who are doing this kind of stuff and you're interfering with your child's forward progress and development, you're messing your kid up behind some clown that you just met a month or two or six, even six months or a year ago. If this man who's been in your child's life has been nothing but positive, he is the, his volunteering his time and his energy to teach your child something to make him a better man, what is wrong? wrong with you you don't let some fool come into your life just because you sleeping with him tell you what to do and how to handle your child you are losing your minds it just so pissed me off i couldn't believe it okay so i'm hearing this from these guys and they're frustrated so i decided i needed to make this video because i need to dig in some asses this is ridiculous now when your son is learning a trade. He's learning how to do something with his hands. He's learning how to use his brains, whether, like I said, it's carpentry, whether it's plumbing skills, auto repair skills, even how to build a computer, how to wire and, and do some, whatever he's being taught by this man who has taken an interest and taken time out of his life to work with your child. You need to support that in every way possible. Let me tell you what happens. You have a son who does not know, doesn't have a job skill. All he knows how to do is get a job. So your son is 16, 17 years old. He's going to he's gonna get a job at Taco Bell. Okay, he's making what? I don't know. What's the federal minimum wage? Seven twenty-five an hour or something like that? Here in California, I think it's $8. But in the rest of the country, it's $7.25. How? That's not even... You can't do nothing with that. That's a kid wage. Okay? So... But you have the opportunity if you have your child in a in a position where he's being mentored by a man who cares about him, your child could be learning a trade. Now, a beginner or uh, what do they call it? Um, oh, it's not like a novice. They call it another word, and I can't think of it right now. But anyway, basically, it's like an app apprentice. That's the word. Okay, so you have an apprentice. Uh, tradesman in your home, your little boy, this man's teaching your son to be to be something when he grows up. Now, an apprentice can make, okay, the minimum wage is $7.25. Your son could be making $11, $12 an hour. How much further do you think he can go in high school? He can have his own car. He can pay for his own insurance because he has a job that's making him proud. He knows a skill. And not only that, 
to get a master's uh, license in any of these trades requires that you have so many hours under the tutelage of a professional, whether it's the journeyman, master, you know, electrician in a school, something. He's got so your son, starting at the age of eleven or twelve, can start accumulating those hours, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. By the time he's twenty-one years old, he's out of college. He has not only a college degree, but he also has a trade. That's a, that's a twofer. And you didn't have to really do anything except buy him some tools and and support his growth. That's all you had to do and make it easy for that man to help your child. Stop being stupid. So, you know, this whole thing with these broads, you, you know, you got this man in your life. He's all in your ear telling you all this stuff negative about this dude that's been with your child and has a track record of helping your child improve. Why would you listen to this new fool? You know, this thing about women being submissive.